Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions. I want to do a follow up on linked callouts uh, from a from a video I did a couple weeks ago and how I've got a pretty good workflow from my needs. Um, and hopefully I can share some tips for you to um, to see how you can use uh, uh, these linked callouts, plus a cool new tool that I found this morning. Uh, so let's get into it. I'm working on this set of plans for a remodel uh, slash addition, and I want my plans to be numbered as such so that I like to have uh, the details. First of all, every detail on, on this... Um, page has a call out okay and each layout box has this label as a call out um, and I'll get into that and show you what that is but I like to have each detail numbered sequentially one two three four five six and then I have the um, call outs in the plan re referencing these elevations um, I like to have the name I like to have the page number and the scale. So um, to do this, I've got a, a standard set, if you will, direct from um, uh, direct from the default settings. I'm going to go into default settings here in my layout file. Um, I should point out that this has you have to be working in Chief Architect X14. I've got the Premiere version. Um, it, it will not, this is a new feature in X14. This won't work in any past um, versions. So in default settings, layout box, I've got the label uh, set as use callout. And my callout label is this macro called reference view callout label. And text below the line is layout label. Then we go into attributes and the text above the line. So this callout Callout label right here refers to this number, this section up here of the callout. Text below the line is once again in the callout below the line there. In attributes, this these two uh, um, these two lines right here refer to this line, text above the line, and text below the line. Now I've got my um, I've got my macro called my scale, and I've released a video with that previously that um, figures out what the scale is, converts it instead of in and ft, converts it to the um, quotes and single quotes marks, and uh, also figures out nts if there's no scale on it. So that's what my scale does. All right, so that's the default setup. And so when you send layouts in plan view, it pulls in the, um, first of all, there is no number for a plan view. It shows the layout page and that's fine. That comes up, excuse me, the layout label. This then attribute shows the um, name of the saved plan view that you're sending. Now, if it's not a saved plan view, I don't know what it what it does. I use saved plan views, so that's what it does in a plan. Um, so notice I can have multiple plans with the same saved plan view. I have this CD plan two that works because I'm cropping it for the kitchen. I'm cropping this for the bathroom, so I can have the same name, if you will, for this detail, and I don't like that either. Um, in a section elevation um, or wall elevation, it gives the, uh, by default, it's going to give the number of the camera, the page, and the name of the camera. All right, so plan view is fairly simple. I can go uh, click once on the layout box 
and open it, Control E or Command E if you're on a Mac, or use the open um, child tool down, edit tool down here. I'm going to click on label and edit the callout. Now I'm just going to have to manually um, know that this is number one on my page. Attributes, I'm going to do kitchen, cabinet, plan. Now the style that's already set up turns all of this into all caps, so I don't need to worry about that. And I can click OK, OK. Okay. Next would be this, E10, number elevation number four. Um, so then I'm going to adjust to this callout. I like to have my callout kind of line up with the um, drawing all from end to end. Like so. Now, you don't have to have the plan view, plan model, plan file open, just the layout you need to make sure your project browser is on. I'm going to go to my, um, my plan uh, file here, Hudson Proposed 10 dot plan, and click on my cross sections. This is elevation number four, so I know I can go directly to that elevation number four. I'm gonna right click on elevation number four and edit the view. So this I might call um, kitchen elevation one, I for Roman numeral one, and go into plan display, and I can change the callout label to number two right there. And there it's set here in the layout, and it's also set in the Hudson proposed 10 plan file, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing. Now I can, I can't open it here. Um, I can't open this. I wonder if there's a, no, because I have to change specifically the section that's in the plan, not the layout box that's in the layout file. So elevation number five, I go to elevation number five right here. I know exactly which one it is. And I'm going to right click on in my project browser. Come on, edit view. And that's kitchen island elevation. Whoops. Whoop, I forgot to click on plan display and change that E11 to number three. And then elevation number six. Uh, this would be kitchen. I need to um, slow down and do my typing better. Forgot once again. Plan display number four. All right. Number five is going to be this um, first floor bathroom. Uh, plan. So I'm going to click once on the layout box and open it, go to label, edit, and I will call this first floor bath plan. Whoops, call out label. <laughs> no, that's number five. And go into attributes, text above the line is first floor bath plan. Adjust the callout to its proper location and width. And then elevation number seven over here, because it's a wall elevation section or exterior elevation camera, I'm going to edit, right click on this and edit. We're gonna call this first floor bath elevation, plan display, that's number six. Adjust this. Sometimes it's too wide. That's okay. <clears throat> now, because it's already named, I can go right into my, um, let's go into my 
plan view. I'm going to drop a call out. I'm going to insert object specific linked view um, call out label. Object specific linked view uh, da, 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 layout page label. Because I could have page number eight be page number eight in my layout could be labeled S1 or E1 or S not S six if I that could happen. All right, so I've got the labels. I'm going to link them to a cross section. Kitchen elevation one right there. That's the one that this one's going to link to. It automatically fills in 2A8. I'm going to make it a large callout arrow with one. And do like so. Make sure that this is on the correct. Uh, layer. Once I've got the macros set up and um, components of it. I'm just going to copy and paste this. Now, one of my child tools is that I can unlink the view or I can relink the view. And I'm going to relink this to the island elevation. Click OK. And it automatically updates. Paste it over here. I love these child tools down here, pantry elevation. I'm going to paste this over here and link this, whoops, to the first floor bath elevation. And look at that. I don't even have to remember what number it is. It goes right to 6A8. The other beautiful thing is, let's say I want to um, open this, right? I can open the, I don't have to have the camera layers on. I can open the um, elevation because it's linked. And I can, whoops, select that call out and go to find this in the layout. So if I click that, it's going to select it and go straight to that page as well. So now I've got my sequential numbering. I had to do that manually. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I could add it if I move this over. Um, let's say I wanted to change this and I move, I'm going to open this and change this to not page nine. Here it's on page nine and it's not, let's say, now it's not number six because this is number six. So I'm going to um, select this first floor bath elevation, go into my project browser, select first floor bath elevation, right? Right click on it, edit, plan display, and that becomes number seven. Go back to my floor plan and look at that. 7A9, it's automatically updated, takes care of it, makes sure it's referenced, cross-referenced, etc. Let's put this back to number six. And put it on page eight. There it is, 6A8. So I wanted to record that partly to share this information with you, as well as to record for my own <laughs> sake. Um, how did I do that again? I think this is the best. Um, this is the best workflow for my solutions, the way that I want to see my layout plans uh, formatted. Thanks so much for following along. If you like this information, click like and subscribe down there. 
um, hit the notification bell. And as always, I enjoy the feedback of comments uh, and ideas that you guys, you all have um, questions, comments, suggestions, etc. I've learned uh, from a lot of you and, and uh, appreciate uh, communicating with you in that way. All right. Have a great week. Take care.